All right, guys, we are going to start by making our two ingredient dough. We're going to use some self-rising flour and you can use any brand. I just have that on hand and we're going to use some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Some people are really particular about the brand they use, but I use just about any brand and they all work great to me. So we're going to start with one cup of the flour. All right, and now I'm going to add to that one cup of the Greek yogurt. All right guys, so now we just mix, add that in and we're going to mix it together. And we're just going to mix it until it is fully combined and it looks like a ball of dough. All right, guys, so there you go. It's fully combined. So as you can tell, it just looks like a regular dough that you would put together. Um, we're just going to sit this to the side while we get our other mixture together. All right, guys, so now we're going to put together our buffalo chicken mixture. I've already separated out four ounces of cream cheese. And this is just a fat-free cream cheese. I just bought it at Walmart. We're also going to be adding some buff hot sauce to it to make it, you know, buffalo. And some shredded, this is a light Mexican blend cheese is what I'm going to add to it. You can just add cheddar or, you know, whatever you like. And I have some rotisserie chicken. I get this at Costco and um, I'm just gonna add that to it as well. So I'm gonna weigh out my cheese cause I'm, you know, wanna make sure I'm counting the points accurate for it. So we're gonna add in two ounces of the shredded cheese. And this cheese I get at Trader Joe's and it's two points per serving. So two points per ounce. All right, so I'm just gonna mix it in a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna add some hot sauce to this. And basically you're gonna add it based on your, you know, how much heat you like to yours. I like my stuff a little spicy. So I'm probably gonna put in about a tablespoon. If not, maybe even a little more. The only thing I forgot to put in on this recipe, guys, was some ranch seasoning, which I did have, but it did make a difference. It still turned out good. 
So as you can see, I'm adding a little more hot sauce because like I said, I like it spicy. You don't have to do this. All right, now I'm gonna add some of the chicken in. And I don't know if you've ever, they sell this at Costco, but they also sell it at Sam's because I know people who get it there. And it's basically just the chicken breast from the rotisserie chicken that they make. And they just package it up and sell it. So I, it comes in a two pound package. And I have done so many recipes with this chicken. Um, I will definitely, this is my first time getting it, but I will definitely buy it again. So I'm just gonna break up some pieces of it i'm not gonna weigh it because the chicken breast on weight watchers is zero points so i'm just gonna put as much as i think i need in it All right, so now I'm just gonna mix that in and get it all mixed in with all that cheese. All right, guys, so that's basically our mixture that's gonna go inside of our calzones so we're going to then just um separate out our dough and we'll get into that next all right guys so we have our dough here oh you know what i usually just spray my um hands so you're gonna see me spray my gloves with a little cooking spray and that's just to keep the dough from sticking to my hands because it is really sticky. All right, and I'm also going to just kind of, kind of try to um, separate it out because I'm going to be making four and I'm going to try to get them all to be pretty uniform in size. And I'm using parchment paper to flatten it out. And I'm gonna spray that with a little cooking spray too. And I always flatten it out some with my hand first. since I have my cooking spray can next to me, I'm just gonna use it to roll it out and try to get it not like thin like crust, but just flatten it out as best as I can. Now we're just gonna add our buffalo chicken mixture and we're going to do the same thing just try to kind of evenly distribute an amount to each of them and I'm just spreading it out some so it's you have it all over in, in your little pocket. Now I'm just closing out the sides so it doesn't ooze out while it's baking. So I'm trying to seal it off on the edges. And 
there you go guys that's one pocket so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three and then I will come back all right guys so here we go I have all four of them made up and now I'm gonna put them in the oven I'm gonna bake these at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes so I will be back guys All right, guys, here is the finished product. These end up being five points per calzone. And the dough is kind of like, it's, it's kind of like having a hot pocket, um, but it's crispy on the outside. That's what I like about it. So this recipe is definitely worth trying, guys. I loved it. I had these for lunch. This was a lunch prep for me. And they heat up very well. I just put them in a toaster oven and they heat up well. So I hope you try this recipe, guys. And I will see you guys again soon.